What's going on YouTube? This is ParkerLiot88 coming at you with another video. Today I've got another deck profile for you guys featuring Gaga Guys. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started with the monsters. So first up we have three copies of Gagaga's sister. When she is normal summoned, she allows you to add a Gagaga spell or trap from your deck to your hand. She also has another ability where you can target one Gagaga monster that you control, and both those monsters become the sum of their level. So if you have a Gagaga magician on the field, for instance, which is level four, you activate her ability and they both become sixes because two plus four is six. So Speaking of which, we also run three copies of Gagaga Magician. He's the main catalyst monster behind all of our keys plays. Once per turn, you can declare levels between 1 and 8, and he becomes that level, which you go for pretty much every Xyz in the rainbow. And uh, we usually like to you get Gagaga Revenge, or use Gagaga Revenge in order to get him so we can do whatever we want. Next up, we have two copies of Gagaga Child. You can special summon this guy if you control a Gagaga monster, and if you special summon him by his own effect, then you can have him copy a Gaga monster you control level. So if you have Gaga magician and you make it an eight or just whatever, he got it the same level. Next up, we have two copies of Gaga girl. So Gaga girl has an interesting ability. She can copy the level of a Gaga magician that you control on the field. And then if she's used for exceeds material uh, for an exceeds summon, you can target one special summon monster that your opponent controls, and its attack becomes zero. So it's pretty handy in the OTK that you can do with Machi Mech and whatnot. Um, but I only like running it too. Next up we have one copy of Guy Guy Clerk. I'm actually replacing, gonna replace this with another child when I actually find a child to replace it with. But in the meantime, she's okay. You can special summon her if you can control a Guy Guy monster. And um, you can use her with Guy Guy Sister in order to go for like rank 4 plays. Then we run one copy of Caesar. Caesar, he's an 18 beater, which is always nice. He also has an ad ability that says that you can move and play one monster in your graveyard. Any monster, doesn't have to be a Gaga Gaga, and all of your Gaga monsters become the level of that monster you play. So, pretty interesting. And then we have two summoner monks for support, and then we also have star drawing as well. Star drawing counts can be counted as a level 5 if you're going for an Ixie summon, and you also get to draw a card off of the Ixie summon, so that's always good. And that does it for all of the monsters. Next up we have spells. We have three copies of Gaga Revenge, most definitely the best spell in the Gaga God deck. You revive one of your Gaga monsters, and if you use that monster for an Xyz summon, then all of your Xyz monsters get 300 attack, and that affects Dax. It's really good. Then we have two copies of Gaga Academy Emergency Network. This basically is a hero lives for um, Gaga Gods. Your opponent controls a monster, and you don't. Special summon one from the deck. But um, you can only exceed summon if you do special summon and stuff like that. So you generally either special summon an Alpha Girl and summon Gaga Magician or vice versa. Next up we have Bolt. So Bolt basically says you can control a Gaga, you can destroy any card your opponent controls. So it's great for spot removal. You summon out Gaga's sister and then you search for whatever and before you go to your exceed play you just use this blow it up. Blow up whatever uh, is standing in your way. And then you go for your seed play, so it's really cool that way. Then we have ah, all the cards all over the place. We have three copies of Anamanopera. So you discard one, and you can search for uh, two copies of a Gaga God, Dodo Do, or yada yada. But you can only search uh, one of each, so like one Dodo Do and one Gaga God, so on and so forth. As you guys saw in here, in the monster count, um, I don't run any of the other things, the Zubabas and so on and so forth, because I feel like it's unnecessary. Once you search for Sister and then you summon with Sister, you already get that plus. I don't want to, or you basically break even, I don't want to bog down my deck with other monsters that I don't really care to use. So, I mean, if you want to, you can. I don't think it's necessary. Next up, we have two Wonder Wands to draw support, two Mythical Space Typhoons to deal with back row. One copy of Dark Eruption, which was actually something I recently added that's just new. I was looking through my binder one day, and I read this, and I was like, wait a second, I can use this to get Gaga's sister. So, one of that. More draw support in the form of Blue or Darkness, since we got a bunch of darks. And then one Blue Burial to set up our Gaga Revenge plays, and what have you. So, those are all of these spells. Let's move into Traps. Traps, we have one Bottomless, one Solemn, two copies of Mind Crush, two Dimension, uh... Yes, Dimensional Prisons, and then one Ixyz Reborn. I actually thought I lost this card, but I found it. it actually works out a lot better than running Call of the Haunted. This deck is going back on it, so I was able to take that out. Cut down my deck 
on my uh, deck count, and I was able to add this, which is pretty good uh, mid to late game, if I have any XEs in my graveyard at the time, so pretty good. The later in the game it gets, the better the card is. And that does it for the main deck. Let's go ahead and do the extra deck, so start off by running one Super Dreadnought Ken, Goose, uh, Rail Ken and Goose off Max, awesome 10. Then we have one Phantom Fortress into Lamp near. has four great effects. You detach one, and this card is not target, by the way. And you either banish from the top of the deck, one random card from your uh, opponent's hand, a card on the field, or the top card of your opponent's deck. Or graveyard. I can't remember which one I said, but anyway, those are the four that I had. It's really great because it doesn't target. And then for our eight, we have one Coach King Giant Trainer. I just added this card for the hype and for the fun of it. When you open up with a Gaga Magician and two um, Gaga Childs, this guy, you can go for this guy, draw three cards, and you can do like a maximum of 2400 damage off the bat. And since you can't attack on your first turn, like all the restrictions don't even matter. Plus, he beats for 18. But yeah, he's pretty much for the hype. Then we have my spirit animal, uh, Fel Grand Knight, for our seven. We have one copy of number 11 Big Guy. Gotta show off that new ultimate Big Guy that I just got. Ah. And then we also have Dragon Sack. And we have Gaia. Then for our six, we run one copy of Norita, the Great Moral Leader. He basically is a Xi'an, you detach one, and he acts just like Xi'an does. He's 27, which makes him better. We have one copy of number 33, Kanamali Machinmek, to go for the OGK. If you guys don't know what it is, basically if your opponent summons a monster with like 2700-ish or more attack, you use Gaga Magician in combination with Gaga Ga Girl, or just basically Gaga Ga Girl has to be involved. And you go for this thing. His ability is you detach one, you deal your opponent damage equal to the difference between their current attack and their original attack. And because Gar Gar Girl makes a special summon to monsters attack at zero, you basically deal all that damage. Then he gains the attack. Then you just attack into it and you get game on board. And we've got Bulbasaurus. Fourth, we have Gaga Cowboy, Estelle, Exciton Knight, Fist Dweller, and Digusto Emerald. We run Digusto Emerald so we can cycle back whatever Gaga Gaz we need. Mostly sister. So that's pretty much it. So guys, that was the Gaga Ga deck profile. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad. Out.